Welcome to another episode of Chats with Shantla. I'm Shantla Israel, and I have the phenomenal business owner who is going to really blow your mind in regards to PR and marketing, Rachel Sacconi. Did I say your last name right? Hi, you did. <laughs> so it's a make sure. So I'm so excited to have her on the show tonight. She's going to give us so much insight about her journey into entrepreneurship, but more importantly, she's going to really give us some great insight on how to take our business to the next level. So Rachel, how are you doing this evening? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing great. You look beautiful. I love that smile. It is absolutely contagious. <laughs> so you. I just want everyone to know that if you like my logo for Chats with Shantla, even on my cup, if you can see it, <laughs> Um, she is the designer and creator behind it. So that just gives you a little bit of an idea of what we're working with tonight. So Rachel, I'm so excited to be collaborating with you. I mean, Thank you. It's, you have so much insight and so much creativity and passion for what you do. That is just like who would not want to be connected to you or collaborating with you? So there are people already watching, anticipating the show and anticipating the conversation that you're going to have with us tonight. But Rachel, I want to ask you the very first question that I ask every entrepreneur. How did you get started into entrepreneurship? Well, so my journey has been a very long journey into entrepreneurship. Um, I will say that, you know, corporate was okay but I always knew that I had that entrepreneur heart so it was really hard for me to like be a part of something that you know wasn't truly really my dream or wasn't truly really my passion even though I enjoyed doing what I was doing I always knew I wanted to take the next step or I always wanted to make their business so much better so once I realized that was marketing I'm like I can make my own company. Like, let me just make my own company instead of making you millions. I'll try to make myself. So, you know, that's kind of what like launched me out to entrepreneurship, just wanting to, you know, give myself something else. And then when we speak about PR and marketing and what does PR stand for, for those who may not be familiar with that? So it's public relations. Okay. So and PR is public relations. Wonderful. So public relations and marketing. But did you go to school for this or is it just a passion of yours? I actually, um, it's kind of, sort of. Um, I got my master's degree in sports management with a minor in marketing. So it wasn't my like all be all, you know, but it was something that I was passionate about and I wanted to learn more about. Wonderful. And you're doing such a great job with it. And, you know, I also want to just ask you, like, what are your key driving factors um, about the business that you do that, you know, public relations and marketing? Um, so the key things about public relations and marketing, I work with a lot of companies that, you know, they really just want to get out there and they want to brand or they want to rebrand like yourself. They wanted to rebrand or they just wanted to get their business out there or learn the ropes. So like with PR and marketing, public relations, you learn how to really get in front of your audience. So that's what I teach people how to do. They, I teach them how to get in front of their audience. Wow. And when you say get in front of your audience, break that down for us a little bit for those who are watching that are like, okay, what's that mean? Is she speaking business lingo, marketing lingo? But you know, what does that actually mean? So it can mean a variety of things. So get in front of your audience could mean social media on a social media platform. It can mean going out to an event and networking and just being in front of that audience. It can mean putting on your own event. It can mean, um, you know, wearing your own personal swag that people can see your logo everywhere. So that can get in front of your audience. There's a vast, there are so many ways that you can get in front of your audience. It just that's how I cater to my clients. It I kind of find out their way of doing things. Are you a people person? Do you like to get in front of people? Are you comfortable talking with people? Or would you rather hand them something and say, hey, this is for you with your company on it? Yeah. Wonderful. And I love that because earlier I showed the cup that I have that has my business logo on it. And I love how you talked about like your own personal swag, meaning T-shirts, hats, yeah. decals and things like that. And I think a lot of times um, we don't put as much effort in those things that are that you could be a walking billboard for um, your own company. So getting your, how did you say that again? Um, getting, so 
wearing your own brand. I always say like, you know, getting yourself out there is wearing your own brand. We can wear Nike, we can wear Jordan, we can wear Chanel, we can wear all these different type of, you know, brands. But if you have a business, you should be rocking your own business. You should be wearing your own things. So that when people ask you, hey, where'd you get that hat? What is that logo? You know, oh, it's actually my company. You know, people don't think about it that way. They'll spend Absolutely. hundreds of dollars on other things, but you really should be investing in yourself. And that's one way I to do it. I love that. And I love how you're saying that because we do spend so much money on different logos, different other brands, and we're not promoting our own. So yeah. I think just the insight that you just gave about that could change the level of business that you're interacting with uh, with the public and your clientele and just attracting customers as well. Yeah. Yeah, so I really. That's a conversation piece. Like if you have something and it says and I'm like, well, what is that? And then instantly yeah, you, yeah. Something, you could say something. So I really love that as well. But Rachel, I know that you're a wife and you're a mother of three and you're a professional and you're an <laughs> entrepreneur and all these other things that you do. And you've really touch base in so many places, Atlanta, California, Virginia, Pennsylvania, so many states throughout this uh, country that it's absolutely amazing how you juggle it all. But when it comes to entrepreneurship, we do have relationships with family and friends. How has your, you know, drive in, you know, being an entrepreneur impacted those relationships? Well, I always try to continue to include my family in everything I do. Like if I have to go to Florida and they're like, Hey, Rachel, we have to go to Florida. Even with corporate, I'll always say, okay, can my husband and my kids come? And mm -hmm. it was just a simple yes or no. And usually they're like, yeah, Rachel, why couldn't they come? You know, or, you know, just incorporating the, them in those trips and those business opportunities. I want them to be a part of that. I don't want to miss out on, and that's part of why I jumped out to be an entrepreneur as well. I want more time with my family. So mm -hmm. it affected us. I would say we have more time together. I'm able to actually even be a stay-at-home mom um, with my children and to teach my children, a stay-at-home teacher with um, my youngest son, my oldest son. So it actually, I think it's a, a pretty good, you know, give or take. So Wonderful. And also, I think when you said about being an entrepreneur and just spending more time with your family and being an at-home uh, mom is you, the amount of money you can make it as, as an entrepreneur is limitless. Like there is no cap. There is no, you have to get a new title or you have to be promoted um, to be able to get more money. But you literally are the driving force on the amount of money you bring in a year. And I think going back to what you do in public relations and marketing, that has a huge impact on how much revenue you could create in a year. Tell me about how PR and marketing actually impacts the money that business businesses could actually make. Yeah, so PR and marketing, and I wanted to touch base on the fact that entrepreneurship is not easy. It's not something that, you know, you just roll out of bed and it's like, oh, I got thousands of dollars in the bank. You may have thousands one week, you may have make two dollars the next week. You may make thousands of you know, it it just it fluctuates in that way, but that's the exciting part about it as well. Once you get used to that, saying that, you know, because my goal was to make money while I sleep. I said, I want to make money while I sleep. And when I finally did that, when well, I'm like, oh, I woke up $500 in my account, you know, that was pretty wow. exciting. So, but PR and marketing on that aspect of it, you have to think about it. Like if you're not doing PR and marketing and you're just going based off of word of mouth, which a lot of people can do, um, you're just missing out on all of those clients that you could be in front of. Had you have just posted a flyer, had you have just, you know, handed something out, your business card or anything like that. You know, you want to be able to, because those are connections that make connections. Absolutely. And I'll say it all the time, like networking will get you indoors that yes. you don't. Yes. And I think with proper PR work and marketing and really investing and in learning that is definitely beneficial. But also Rachel, tell me about what motivates you to keep going as an entrepreneur. Um, just the end goal. Like I have goals of my, of my own, my husband and I, we love to travel. We love to, you know, have our free time. Um, you know, that's really what motivates me is to be able to make my own plans, not just, Oh, I have to call off work two weeks in, you know, in advance or, Oh, I have to ask this person, you know, and then finding out that that's not their same values. Their values are for you to be at work. So I didn't like that feeling of, you know, constantly having to be on someone else's clock. So that's what really motivates me is, is to build the life that I want. And, you know, and God says that go have dominion and power over the earth. So 
this is your time. He's instilled in you everything that you need to be successful. You just have to believe in yourself. So that's what motivates me, you know, just picking myself back up. I love that. I can tell that you are such a motivator and encourager to yourself and others. I mean, if anybody is watching, this is the episode of Chats with Chantal. We're on our 20th episode and you oh. are here today. And thank you so much for joining the journey that we're doing and supporting it every single week, the viewers that are watching and tuning in to learn more about our featured entrepreneur. And Rachel, you have a really strong um, support system. You have a strong following, not just in Virginia and all the other areas, but also in PA. So a lot of us are watching and supporting and cheering you on and just Thanks. waiting to hear all the information you're providing. But I love how you are such a motivator. You are always in high spirits. Like any Anybody who would talk to you um, would have an opportunity to see that. But in regards to marketing as well, you generate new uh, ideas often. And um, what new ideas are you generating or working on right now? Um, it's so funny because I already told you I call myself an omnipreneur. I'm always doing something, dibbling down into something. It's usually just surrounding yourself with people that, you know, have like minded Mm -hmm. you know, ideas. So like, you know, I wouldn't have thought of that, you know? And, um, you know, so some things that I'm working on, I have um, Beauty by Ray. So, you know, I make wigs and I, I do hair. I've been doing that since I was probably eight years old. So, you know, just taught myself how to make wigs, taught myself how to do different things. And then I have um, Kingdom Kids, which is um, a platform that I had a clothing line and I'm turning that into a kids entre a child entrepreneur site. Um, so, children can go on and they have sponsors to help with their logos, to help with their business ideas, things like that. Um, so yeah, so those things are in the works as well. Um, and I also do waist trainers as a new mom. I was like, oh my gosh, like this is great to, you know, <laughs> I'll be at the gym and they're like, what are you wearing? How did you do that? You know? And I'm like, yeah. So um, waist trainers are one thing too that I've uh, kind of started as well. But in that, but in regards to the marketing, are you doing anything new in regards to like, I know some marketers do some consultations and things like yeah. that. Are you doing any of that and, you know, picking up for the PR marketing work for entrepreneurs? I am. I'm actually working on um, a, I, I don't want to say curriculum, but I want to, I'm working on something that is very, very basic for startup businesses for start a business entrepreneurs. How to do your EIN number? What do you need to get started? How do you um, build your website? How do you do get your dominion, or your domain name, things like that. I want to start that. And then I'm also doing like the coaching side of it as well. So I'll start taking more speaking engagements, things like that to, you know, kind of help different companies and corporations grow. And, um, but my passion is startup businesses, just being there from the start. Absolutely. And I am really excited because so many people are just like, you know, you have to be the driver of your own destiny, just really supporting. So there's a lot of comments coming in as well. So Rachel, you have amazing support. So if you're just now tuning in, I'm Shantla Israel, the host of Chats with Shantla. We have the phenomenal Rachel Sacconi, and she is the owner of RC PR and marketing, so public relations and marketing. And we're talking about her journey into entrepreneurship and also getting some great takeaways on how to level up in your business to make sure that you are successful in reaching the goals that you have. And Rachel, in regards to like, if I wanted to call you and talk to you about marketing or get some one-on-one -on -one time with you, um, what is one thing that you would tell me as a client doing that? Yeah, so definitely, um, you know, you want to make your business your own. I always tell my clients, you want to start with that logo. The logo kind of makes it like the seal. You've seen how excited right. you are when you got your logo. You're like, okay, game on, let's do this. Yes, yes. It kind of gives you that push. You always want to start with that. And you always want to start with what is what is my business going to be called? And what are my values? What am I going to be known as? You know, um, there are so many different clients that I talk to and they tell me their stories of why they even came about doing that. I'm like, your clients need to know that, you know, if you have a tagline, you need to know why you started um, Chats with Shawn You need to know why these companies um, begin because that's who they follow. The people follow you. They don't necessarily follow your business. They're going to follow who you are as a business. So that's my number one. Um, just breaking down. Why do you even want to start this? You know? 
I love that because we connect um, to stories and mm -hmm. when you're relatable, other people can see that as well. So I really appreciate you even saying that. And I was completely excited when I got my logo done. It just made me feel more professional and it made me do a lot more things because it set this new standard for myself that, you know, it's not just a hobby. It's an actual yeah. yes. suit you know, for a purpose to be completed. And so a logo, these small little changes or investments, I should say, really do change the way that you see yourself and how other people see you. But I want to shout out some of our viewers who are supporting us tonight. Hey guys. We have, Amber, we have Vershana, we have Courtney, we have my Lacey. So a lot of people are just in the comments and they're really appreciative of this opportunity to be here and hear from you. And I really support, I mean, really appreciate the support that happens every Monday at 7 p.m. But Rachel, I also want to um, learn a little bit more about how you handle, you know, discomfort. I mean, as an entrepreneur, we go through different things like adversity and doubt, but we also go through discomfort. Um, so how do you handle that? And what is the biggest lesson you've learned from it? Yes. Yeah, so discomfort is the life of an entrepreneur. I feel like there's good and bad stress. That's what I tell myself. Um, that's how I felt when I was going through school. Like, is this good stress or is this bad stress? This is good stress <laughs> because I'm going to get through it and I'm going to have a degree and all these different things. So, right. you know, entrepreneur, that's discomfort is not always a bad thing, you know, and I always go back to scripture. Like God says, you're going to have trials and tribulations. It's right. not going to be easy. So discomfort is just a reminder that you are actually pressing into something, you know, and that is have that's been become something that I'm comfortable with now. I don't know if it's because I was an athlete, you know, but it's pain is gain, you know, so <laughs> I kind of tell myself that I train myself mentally, like, this, this too shall pass. So I love that. I love that, you know, the discomfort actually moves you. Mm -hmm. It moves you out of a place. Like if yeah. you're, you know, I'll say it, like if you try on a shoe and you really like it, it's too tight, you go a size up. Or if you're sitting <laughs> in a chair and it's uncomfortable, you get another one. So yeah. there's actually an action behind that discomfort. So mm -hmm. I really like how you paraphrase that for us in the way that you see discomfort. Um, but, you know, a lot of people sometimes in discomfort, they quit. Yeah. You know, so um, what if I was to call you and we were doing the one on one um, consulting that you may be providing as a service mm -hmm. to others? Um, and I said, OK, I want to quit. How would you talk to me in regards to being like a coach? Yeah. And how would you encourage me to keep going even in that discomfort? Yes. So just reminding you, for one, that there are there's going to be things that you're going to have to pivot. You know, you have this plan. It's going to be like a straight on plan. This is what I'm going to do next year. I'm going to have this next year. It may not go as planned and that's okay. As an entrepreneur, you're, you're able to pivot. And during those different times, those difficult times, you, for one, you have got to realize why you started. You always got to go back to your why. Why did I start this? Who would be affected if I let this dream go? You know, um, you know, with the different dreams that I've had, people are dying if I don't decide to push on right. to my ultimate goals, you know, so just reminding you why you even started this. Do we need to pivot? And with as a marketing coach, you know, I'm able to, you know, actually give you blueprints of this is what you need to do. This is a, these are the different steps that we need to take. And if those don't work, you know, that's OK. We're going to have to pivot again until you reach those end goals. But yeah, so. Just remembering your why is the biggest thing. I love the fact that you said um, a marketing coach. And the reason why I say that is everything, you know, is coachable. Everything you should be able to be teachable. And also you're not pigeonholing yourself into one line of business in regards to PR or marketing. And how many of us, at least I can speak for me, that need somebody to encourage them, to guide them. You know, a coach sees the potential and then calls plays and uses their star athletes who already have the ability to actually get it done. And with you saying all those different things, blueprints, setting goals, holding someone accountable, that's what a coach does. It holds, yeah. you know, their their players or their team accountable. And I love that. A lot of us are, are missing that. Mm -hmm. And so if you're joining in with Chats with Sean, I'm Sean Israel, and we have the amazing Rachel Sacconi, and she's the owner of RC PR and Marketing. And so she is giving us some great information in regards to how to market, how to be um, a, a student, 
you know, to be okay to be coached, to be teachable, and to reach out to her, you know, for different levels of marketing and PR. So it's just not one thing. And Rachel, I think that, you know, you spoke earlier about pouring into the kids and, you know, uh, the Kingdom Kids and teaching young people as entrepreneurs. I can think of two young ladies that, you know, are, um, I think one, at something B, it's lemonade, it's in um, home uh, uh, Whole Foods. And mm -hmm. And she's like eight years old when she discovered this, you know, and then Alex is lemonade stand. So I'm thinking to myself, there are young people yeah. that yeah. you may have a child and has a business and you need help. You need to reach out to somebody with expertise as yourself to be able to coach them, expose them and get them in the right direction to be successful. I just want to go back there. What uh, made you passionate about working with kids? Because kids are not the easiest little people, these little humans to work with. So like what drove you in that direction? Oh, my goodness. Um, I'm pretty sure the kids can probably speak to this and attest to this. I've always had a desire to work with kids. I've always had a dream to work with kids. Right now I coach cheerleading with kids. I, you know, I've taught Sunday schools and, and mime and all those different things because I just know that that's my gift, um, you know, to be with them and, and to pull out whatever it is that they don't feel that they have because kids go through a lot. You know, a lot of people may not see what they go through, but I feel like I can read their heart and, you know, we make that connection instantly. And I believe every child um, has something in them, just like every human, you know, but children, they can be, you, you know, they can detour because they're not given the right guidance or mm -hmm. the right direction. And I want to be, you know, kind of that, um, that support for them. Um, and I, I feel it. Like that's my, one of my callings. Absolutely. And, um, I just want to ask you also, what is your greatest inspiration or what has been or who is, because it could be multiple things. I will definitely say it's uh, uh, kids. <laughs> I want to be the best. The reason why I haven't quit college, the reason why I haven't, you know, quit doing what the goals that I've set out to do is because I don't want my family members or little kids that look up to me to say like, oh, well, she couldn't do it. So why couldn't I do it? You know, I want to go after everything that God has promised me um, and not quit until it is done because I know that there are little eyes looking at me, just like, you know, other people have other things that they, that drives them. That is definitely one thing that I want to leave a legacy, not only for my children, but for generations to come. Um, I believe that we can break generational curses. And I believe that we are already, um, even you shall not so. Oh, thank you. I just, when I looked on your Facebook page for your um, RCPR and marketing, there's a statement and it says, let's bring life to the relationships we build. And I think that what you just said was that, like, you just don't want to have relationships with young, with youth or adults and not build something like you are a true connector um, behind the scenes. Rachel has done so much for me besides collaborate with me tonight. She has connected me with people. There was a need if she couldn't do it. She connects you with someone who can. And believe me, she can do a lot of things. And she is learning how to be like, OK, I'm going to do this in this lane, you know, so that she can focus on more of the purpose that she feels that she has for herself as well as what God has called her to do. And I totally agree with you. And I love that building relationships are so necessary. But when you um, wrote that statement, let's bring life to relationships we build, what were you thinking about when you wrote that or who were you thinking about? When, every time I meet someone, you know, I always, 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 um, you know, they call it build rapport but I truly want to know more about that person, you know, because I, I feel that our calling too on this, on this earth is to help heal and to help connect others, um, you know, not only to Christ, but to other people so that they can be more open. Maybe they were shut in or, or, you know, whatever they go through. You know, when I thought about that, it's not only, you know, building relationships that last, but when you are, bringing life to relationships and you have something to offer someone and you'll, you'll be surprised that they have something to offer you as well. And, you know, a lot of people, they look for just what people can give them. But if you look on the opposite and say, Hey, what can I do for you? You know, it, 
automatically it comes full turn not maybe not from that person but i promise you the next person you'll be blessed from the next person maybe a year later and say oh i remember i did that for that person you know so it's just bringing life and just you know um making that connection absolutely and then also you have uh, a sentence that says connect business partners with the communities they serve and i when i think about that there's so many times that we have businesses or we have relationships and um we want to connect in the community like when i've read that i'm like that's exactly what chats with shelton does we build connect and collaborate but it also has this platform allows you to be exposed in your community to be able to serve and give back and I just think that those two statements, if no one gets anything from this conversation, those two statements that are on her page lets you know the character and the mindset of our featured entrepreneur tonight, who is Rachel Sacconi. And she is just a great hearted person. Um, she wants to be around not only like hearted people, but like minded people. And that's also in personal and business. And I think that's why when you put your hand on something, Rachel, it's just so successful to me. Um, ultimately, like you, I got my logo, put it on Facebook. Everyone was like, oh my gosh, you did that. And I tagged you. And um, a lot of people probably even wanted it for themselves. But it is just amazing the things and the talents that you have and what you're doing. And when you think about like PR work and marketing and you're working with a client, what are some skills that you would say that, you know, businesses need to sustain, maintain and, um, you know, get become successful if they're not at the level of success they want to be? Um, I would definitely say one thing that they need is to be able to adapt with change. A lot of um, corporations that I worked with, you know, they don't adapt to what the new is, you know, and, and they're afraid to because they've been doing something for so long and it's like, no, this is the way to do it. And we have these handbooks, you know, but if you are able to actually adapt with the change and that is in business and as an entrepreneur, um, you know, you're able to really, really, really push your business to where it's supposed to go. Another thing is to really, really, really have that discipline um, to be able to stick to what you said you're going to do and actually follow through with it and um, and be personable with people. Be able to speak their language, you know. Mm -hmm. um, not everyone's going to be for your product. Not everyone's going to be, you know, buying all your things or whatever. But at the end of the day, you have to be able to be personable with people and know who your audience is. And if they're not your audience, you still want to make it so that it is still likable, even though not everyone wears Nike. I mean, young or old, you see people with Nike because it's, you know, they made it relatable to them. Absolutely. I love that. And so when you think about when I think about skills and I think about branding and marketing and PR, I'm just sitting here in my mind in my is just turning on how many things and why I connect to, to so many things like I love Target. I'm in Target you know, so much, whether it's online shopping or going in there at least once a week. And anytime I see a bullseye or a white dog, I instantly go to my mind goes to Target. Mm -hmm. So when I'm thinking about how you're talking about the importance of marketing, PR work, and also how you brand yourself, it connects. And then Target also has um, evolved, like you said, adapting with change, where a lot of their marketing is putting people of color at the forefront mm -hmm. in their ads, um, just showing the public that they're supporting that. And so it's just like you're saying, adapting and changing to the audience. Uh, you know, it yeah. may not be your specific audience that, you know, but there are people that are really looking for that. And as a woman of color, I definitely am looking for the businesses who are supporting people who look like me. Mm -hmm. And so when you think about marketing just in the last seven months, how, what have you seen um, a big change in that in regards? To I have, I have, I actually worked with um, a company that, you know, when we reached out, and they're an amazing um, magazine publication, Colors VA. And they I reached out on their behalf to different corporations. And, you know, they really wanted to be a part of the movement and they wanted to show their support. So I have seen a phenomenal change. Um, it's really great in a, in a breath of fresh air that they actually are trying to make it so that, you know, we're united. And they realize and they recognize that there is an issue here. But, you know, they want to show their support. So I, I love that. 
I love that. And so if you're just now joining, this is the 20th episode of Chats with Shantla. And I have the pleasure to collaborate tonight with Rachel Sacconi, and she is the owner of RC PR and Marketing. And she's just giving us some great insight on her journey into entrepreneurship and also about uh, PR, which is public relations, branding and marketing. And so I would tell you right now, if you just joined in, you definitely want to connect your business um, with her if you want to take it to the next level. To me, she is a marketing and PR expert. Um, and, you know, she has studied sports medicine and majored in marketing. And she's just doing some great work. So you have an opportunity to get some free advice tonight with this episode get some great motivation because she is a great motivator. Look at the high spirit and amazing high energy that she brings to the platform tonight. But Rachel, I also just want to ask you um, in regards to entrepreneurs and you thinking about the, um, the business side of marketing and PR, what are some activities that you feel that, you know, businesses should be doing to keep their self at the forefront of the industry they're passionately working in? So my number one thing is, and I don't know if it's just because I'm an in-person person, but you definitely want to stay connected as far as like find your local marketing events, find your local networking events, I'm sorry, um, or marketing. But yeah, so your networking events, there's always something. Look on Eventbrite, look on Google and just type in networking events near me. I, you will be so surprised what is going on in your area that is free, usually free food, and you can just go in and just network and just pass out your business cards and, you know, and just have a connection with people instantly. And then you met a friend. My Rolodex, I probably have about 5,000 business cards. I'm not even lying to you that I've gotten personally from people, you know, and different companies. And they've been my long, you know, lifelong friends. So definitely networking events, putting yourself out there um, and joining some of these. You know, there's a lot of things that don't cost anything like the webinars. Um, if you can learn anything, um, go in and do some webinars, some workshops. That is your niche. You know, if you have a catering business, look up some catering um, workshops or networking events or anything like that so that you can get your foot in the door and setting up yourself. Once you feel comfortable and you've seen how people do it, set up your own table. Yes. Yeah. So I love that. And you, that's a great segue because I'm just going to ask you as you know, a marketing expert and professional, if you were to walk into an event, what would you expect to see? What do you feel like if you're doing setting up a table, what are some items that should be there present to attract people to your table? Well, you definitely want to um, make sure that you have a nice table, like start small if you need to, um, and just have a table, you know, and then have a nice, um, what is it, table skirt? on there and then eventually you'll be able to put your logo on there once you get your logo up and going put some few items cheap items you know you can get pens for really really cheap you can get um maybe some brochures that just tell what your business is about um you can get koozies people love soda <laughs> or beer you know like you can just do things that you can pass out just to get your brand out there and then you can make that connection so you can start talking with people hand in hand and you know form those relationships because you'll be surprised when you do that they'll start spreading the word too like yeah i met her at a marketing event i met her at a networking event you know she was so nice and i still have this pen from her <laughs> and when you're saying that and you're talking about like being frugal like not being like getting cheap things but thinking yeah. like in the terms of your finances and one thing that i used to do when i used to go to events as you're stating is i would go to the grocery store and get maybe two cases of water and print off labels, whether they were black and white. And I would put my label on the water bottle because everyone like is looking for water when they're at these yeah. events or something, but it's a dual purpose. You're, you know, quenching someone's thirst and every time they take a drink or they're holding it or, you know, they look at it, your brand or your logo could be right on there. It's yeah. a really easy way. Um, and I think it was like a $10 bill that I paid. Yeah to be able to have, you know, 48 bottles of water and um, a logo, um, you know, mm -hmm. on there. So yeah. just when you're thinking about in marketing terms, I think that is phenomenal, uh, you know, because it doesn't have to be where you're going out and spending $5,000 yeah. on merchandise, you know, just to give it away, you know, yeah. 
you want to make sure that, you know, you're at the top of someone's mind so you can be at the tip of their tongue. And that um, advice that you gave is really beneficial and it's not going to cost a whole bunch of money yeah. to be able to do. You mentioned free webinars, free events, virtual events, you know, because <laughs> we're in a pandemic and you're suggesting all these things that aren't out of pocket. They're just asking you to invest your time to be able to be present, yeah. um, you know, and I really appreciate that. And Rachel, we as viewers and supporters of Chats with Shantla want to support you. And I know you're a person who is such a giver, but many of us want to be able to partner with you. One, you know, to partner with you. I know that my business needs you you know, if I want to take it to the next level and anybody who's watching and supporting Chats with Shala, if you're ready to take it to the next level, you need to connect with Rachel. So we want to know your social media handles. How do we connect with you? So you can go on um, RCPR and marketing. Um, mm -hmm. I will put it in the links below as well for you guys, but uh, you can go on there. You can reach out to me, direct message. Um, you can go and email me at rcprmarketing at gmail.com. Um, just reach out and let me know where you are at in your stage um, of your entrepreneur journey. Yes. Help you out. Every Listen, it's on the screen. Your business needs Rachel. And then it's if you can email her, DM her, as she said. And I'm just putting it up on the screen. There's her email address, rcprmarketing at gmail.com. And on Facebook, it's Rachel Ciccone, <laughs> PR and Marketing Inc. So she has dropped some great gems. If you're just now tuning in, make sure you rewind and hit replay so you can get it from the very beginning. But Rachel, I also want to give you the opportunity to share some final thoughts with um, our viewers about who you are, what maybe you want to say or pour into them. But I know a lot of people are watching and want to hear directly from you. Yes. Um, well, I definitely want to just encourage you all to just stay encouraged. And also, if you need a marketing coach, if you need someone that you feel could help you, um, like Shantla said, get to the next level or just understand your business more or how to navigate, that's the hardest thing is um, learning how to navigate your business and learning how businesses work. How do you, I get my EIN number? I heard all these things about websites and, you know, but sometimes you don't always need what other businesses need. So if you need anything as far as marketing goes, as far as just educating you on how things work, um, I'm here, let me know. Um, I'd love to be your marketing coach. Um, so yeah, just reach out to me. Wonderful. So Rachel, it has been such a pleasure. I am so proud of you. Um, it has been such a great benefit to collaborate with you. Not only is Rachel my marketing coach, not only has she did my logo um, for my business for Chats with Shantla and also um, my business mark. She is also a family member who inspires me. She is a younger cousin, but to me, she is so much more mature in areas that I am so grateful for. And she is so passionate. So she's not here to just say, okay, I want to do business with you and I want to collect money for revenue to increase my business. She does everything wholeheartedly um, with a passion and purpose behind it. So connecting with her, you're getting more than just a business partner. You're getting a cheerleader, which she was at Liberty. Yes, I have videos, I have footage, I have received. <laughs> um, but um, she is actually a cheerleader personally and professionally. And she is going to root for you. She's not going to misguide you. She's not going to give you something just so that it gets money in her pocket. It's about being the best for you. Um, she's a marketing coach. She has so many great strategies and she wants to take your business to the next level. So Chats with Chantla allows entrepreneurs to come on this platform to build, collaborate, and connect. But more importantly, it's exposure for the viewers to be able to see these entrepreneurs who are doing great things and connect with them. So we are in a time where how we invest our dollars is so important. And I challenge everyone when we're on Chats with Chantla, if you're a viewer, invest your dollars in your local business owners, invest your dollars with people who look like you, who want to support you. And Rachel is one of those people. Rachel, I completely adore you. I'm so grateful for you. Thank there you so much. much. There is so much that you have in store for businesses like myself and other entrepreneurs that are watching. Um, it's been such a pleasure um, to collaborate with you. Thank you for saying yes. This is Thank the you beginning. for asking. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. <laughs> and then just so you know, my hair was done by Ray, which was her, just another, just a shout out. Um, I'm loving it. I would be running my fingers through it another 60 times if I wasn't on camera. But Rachel has done so many things. So your business needs Rachel Sacconi. You want to connect with her on Facebook and you want to email her, but connect with her on Rachel Sacconi, RC. PR and Marketing Inc. on Facebook. Do it now. What are you waiting for? Email her. DM her. <laughs> Just what? Don't wait. If you want more success for your business, connect with her now. Do not wait. So this has been another episode of Chats with Chantla. It's been an amazing pleasure. Thank you so much, Rachel, for joining us. I am so grateful. Thank you for having me. Thank You're you. Welcome. Thank you for sharing your journey into entrepreneurship. And we wish you the very best. Chats with Chantla happens nice. every Monday at 7 p.m. Stay tuned for our next episode. Again, Rachel, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. You're welcome, sweetheart.